It's taken us a long road to get where we are now in delivering the coronavirus vaccine. However, some minority populations are reluctant to get the vaccine. The VA is working hard to destigmatize the COVID-19 vaccine among minority veterans and anyone else who might be thinking twice about getting it. Here this morning is VHA Chief Medical Officer Dr. Cameron Matthews. Welcome. It's good to have you with us. Hi, thanks for having me. Well, tell me, why is there some hesitancy regarding getting the vaccine? From communities of color, there's a history of uh, lack of trust, unfortunately, in the healthcare system and in even larger institutions. Uh, that information obviously impacts their decisions on how they accept the vet vaccine itself. But really, our, our proactive outreach is, is meant to target the message to answer veteran questions so that we can really promote the vaccine as safe and effective. So is the distrust or the hesitancy, is that um, a trust issue in general uh, between the government and the individuals? I think it, it obviously differs. I think this is a, a large issue that we as a nation need to deal with. Uh, and yes, there, there is definitely that concern. But again, I think uh, so much of our success is based on the fact that we're not making any assumptions about the reasons, that we're having those individualized questions, uh, that we're reaching out proactively to veterans uh, to maybe dispel some myths, uh, to make sure that they have the correct information in order to make the decision about the vaccine themselves. Trying to convince someone when there's a mistrust issue to begin with, that's very difficult. Mm -hmm. It definitely can be. Uh, this pandemic, uh, it's, it's kind of ever-changing information that we're hearing from a range of sources, sometimes contradictory, definitely could, could lead to, to a sense of uh, causing mistrust as well, too. That's why we're here as a resource. We're here to answer those questions, not just push the vaccine blindly. And it's not just minority veterans or the minority population. I think it really becomes everyone because, as you say, there's been uh, conflicts in some of the information that we received. Very much so, very much so. So tailoring that information so that uh, an individual veteran understands, knows the impact of the virus on themselves, on their families, on their communities, um, that's, that's the important part. Uh, and again, coming from a place of trust. And what is the overlying message that, that you are saying to get someone to agree to get the shot? Because it, it seems as though it's vital if we're going to get out of this pandemic. Overlying message is that it is safe, it is effective, and it protects not only you, but the people that you're around. Uh, we need to answer their questions. We need to dispel the myths that they, they may have heard about uh, and, and give them uh, really focused attention to their concerns. Um, but again, it is safe and effective. Sometimes when there's distrust, people want to do their own research and finding out more about a topic. And this one is so important. Uh, is there a website folks can go to, to get more info? We're very proud to share with veterans who, of course, have Internet access that VA.gov has a great amount of information for you, uh, information about the vaccine, its safety, as well as the ability to schedule that appointment. If indeed you don't have Internet access, we encourage you to call your VA. Uh, you know your care team. You know that we're willing to answer your questions and, and help you with that appointment as well. All right, Dr. Matthews, thanks so much for being with us today. This is really important. Thanks for having me. And keep it right there. We'll be right back.